KPM. Hi, Elil. Hi, Glad. Yeah, look what I brought. Some photos from the album. This was taken when you know, like 30 years ago, um, when I first started teaching. A great flashback. Yes, and it's good to look at old photos, right? Extremely good. Yes, and this was a family photo. Some of them are not even alive today. Oh, oh okay, photos. Yeah, I but see that you have yeah. brought some photos yes. as well. Yes, photos. Photos speak a thousand words, don't they? Yes. Oh, this is when Brynden was still uh, very young. Yes. yes. Oh, that's lovely. Okay. Yeah, that gives me an idea. Yeah. Why don't we take a selfie now and why make not? a memory out of this event? Exactly, why oh. not? Okay. Great idea. Come, yes. let's do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, shall we? Photo ball! Ah. Hi. Hi, good okay. morning. Oh, let's Hi. take a photo. Okay, yes. Yes. Hi, okay. Hi. good morning, good morning, good morning. Good uh, morning. Um, hopefully, I get to be part of your memories as well. Definitely. And for those of you who are watching at home, yes, a very good morning to each and every one of you. You are now watching Terras at Didit TV KPM. Together me, Sean, as well as our teachers here. But if you want to find out more about our teachers' background, let's have a look at their profile. Awesome teachers with, her, uh, with us this morning. Uh, and also, not only do we have our teachers with us this morning, we also have some students who are our special guests that will be joining us online. And let's just see who they are. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I hear voices, but I can't see faces just yet. Ah, oh, there we go. Hi, hi. good morning. <laughs> hi, hi. Uh, morning. Thank you for being with us today. Um, before we begin, I would like you to introduce yourself. I'll be mentioning your, I guess, your short names. Just, uh, <laughs> just introduce yourself uh, with your full name. We're going to start off first with uh, Sharmish, uh, Sharmik Shah. Sharmik Shah. Okay. Um, hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Sharmisha Jaykandan, and I'm from SMK Sabajaya. Thank you very much. And next, we have Arisa. Hi everyone, good morning. My name is Arisa Dina and I'm from SMK Sabajaya. Thank you. Next, we have uh, Govarden. Well, hi there. My name is Govarden and I'm from SMK Sabajaya. Thank you very much. Next, we have uh, Joanne. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joanne King and she and I'm from SMK Cyberjaya. Thank you very much, Joanne. Uh, moving on, we have two more students. Uh, Ezhan. Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Ezhan Daniel and I'm from SMK Cyberjaya. Thank you. And last but not least, we have Jia Chen. Hello, everyone. Good morning. My name is Jia Chen and I'm from SMK Cyberjaya. All right, and for those of you who are watching at home, obviously they are all from the same school, which is SMK Cyberjack, if you did not hear that six times. Okay, <laughs> so uh, are you guys ready for our lesson for this morning? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Yeah. I am super pumped because, uh, I mean, I see all your faces are bright and awake and ready to learn, but obviously we want to know what exactly are we learning today, teachers? Oh, okay. We are going to do Literature in Action. Yes. Uh, this is a Form 4 uh, topic. Yep. The Living Photograph. It's a poem. It's a poem? It's a poem. And what's that poem about, actually? It's, it's about um, remembering the loved ones. Yes. Yes, loved ones. particularly yeah. grandmother. Grandmother, yes. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my, my grandmother is no longer with us right now, but I have very fond memories of, of her. Of course. Yes, uh, but let's also have a look of, uh, at a video of uh, other students with the memories of their grandmother. Let's have a look. I think of her delicious uh, rendang and pulo. She's kind. She's very helpful. Whenever when she met someone who is in trouble, she would lend them her hand to help them. 
That is so sweet of her. Um, my grandmother, she reminds me of happiness because every moment I've spent with her were only full of positivity. My grandmother used to have lots and lots of cats. Yes, and she would even feed all the stray cats around our taman. My grandmother reminds me of a school warden because she's very punctual and she always wants things to be perfect even though it's kind of impossible when you have 64 grandchildren. Uh, home. Whenever I think of my grandmother, home is the first thing that comes to mind. Because whenever I'm with her, I feel loved and safe. Uh, she takes care of me and provides me with all of the delicious foods and my favorite foods. Uh, the first thing that comes to my mind uh, about my grandmother is her warm hugs. Every time I visit her, she never forgets to give us those hugs. Uh, she's a bit chubby and she wears spectacles. She's short and slim. She has a lot of wrinkles and she has a long and a grey white hair. She has a very small figure, like, like just like me, I just followed that. And she's very, very beautiful. She is so small and she has round eyes. Uh, my grandmother has a very beautiful smile and she often puts her hair in a bun. That's very wonderful indeed uh, to know all the memories of their grandmothers. I, had, I have so much of memories of my grandma. Um, obviously, I still remember when I was younger. Uh, she used to mention, uh, every time when I, I was brought over to her house, uh, she would say that, Sean, you need to eat more. Sean, take this mutton. Sean, eat the nasi brownie. Stuff like that. You know, it's always a, you know, it's, it's always a different type of love when it comes to grandparents, or specifically of grandmothers. Right, right. Yes. I just can't wait to find out more about our poem for today. But before that, uh, we also like to mention there is currently a Teacher's Day campaign that's happening, which is called Hashtag Terimokasechegu. And we actually have a card that has been prepared by one of our students, or one of the students that will be displayed on the screen right now. Okay, so yeah. KPM You are now watching Teras at DTV KPM. And of course, today we have uh, two wonderful teachers with us, uh, Elil as well as Miss Gladys. Thank you so much for joining us again. And uh, let's begin our lesson for today. Yeah, why not? Over to you. Thank you. Okay. Um, hi, sweeties. Can you see me? Hi. Okay. I'm going to pose the same question that um, your friends answered. Okay. What comes to your mind when you think of your grandmothers? Okay? Who's gonna start? Okay, Joe. The first thing that comes to my mind when I think of my grandmother is her love and affection. When I was in the primary school, she used to help me carry my heavy school bag even if I told her not to. Oh, that's so sweet. She doesn't even want you to carry that little burden. Yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, um, who would like to go next? Speak about your grandmother. Okay, go. Well, I never really met my grandmother, but when I was very young, and I used to be ill all, uh, very often, and I know that she was a wonderful, caring person because she made herbal recipes that she passed down now until day that keep me healthy. That's amazing, isn't it, grandmother? She's not around anymore yeah and you have not met her but she's still healing you and your family yes amazing, amazing. presence and nothing yep. can beat grandma's cooking nothing can beat grandma's <laughs> cooking <laughs> absolutely and uh, shall we go for one more who'd like to speak about your grandmother okay dina me 
Um, my grandmother, her warm heart, soft laugh, and the strong Kedah accents every time she speaks in Malay. And oh yeah, of course, her amazing traditional dishes. There you go. They are totally a different breed. Absolutely. Yes, they are. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you, sweets. Um, then shall we go to, go up to the next one? Oh uh, yes, yes. So what we're we going to do right uh, right now? So we have completed. I mean, we have already asked the students about their 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 fond memories of their grandmothers. Uh, what are we going to do next? Uh, we are going to recite the poem. Oh, recite the poem. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Really, really excited for it. Okay. Um, we are going to start, uh, we are going to do the poem, The Living Photograph, today, as we mentioned earlier. Yes. Okay? And since uh, the students have already talked about their grandmothers, today, now they are going to recite the poem. Okay? So, um, let's start with, uh, they are going to recite three stanzas, because the poem has three stanzas. So, we will start with the first stanza. So, who is going to recite the first stanza? Uh, okay. Okay. My small grandmother is tall there, straight back, white broderie and lace shirt, pleated skirt, flat shoes, gray bun, a kind old smile around her eyes. Her big hand holds mine, white hand in black hand. Her sharp blue eyes look her own death in the eye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, she recited it in a nostalgic manner. Okay. Because the first stanza here, the poem by Jackie K, the pers persona here talks about her grandmother. Okay. Yeah. So she's actually looking at a photograph and she's talking about her grandmother and uh, she remembers taking the photograph when she was three years old. Oh. Okay. And she remembers her grandmother as being tall. Um, she was straight backed and um, she wore white broadery anglaise shirt, okay, and with pleated skirt. So she remembered what she wore, her attire. She remembers her attire and she loved to wear flat shoes. And she also had a, a grey bun, a, a bun like uh, Alice, but it's, uh, it was grey in colour. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she remembers her grandmother's personality, okay. She was kind. Uh, she, and also, uh, you know, she was also a brave woman because uh, she's, she, um, she looked death in the eye. Okay, so she looked death in the eye. So she was also a brave woman. Okay, and uh, this is what she remembers about her grandmother. And here, white hand in black hand. It tells you that, uh, you know, probably they are of, uh, you know, uh, of uh, mixed parentage or, you know, of different races and so on. So these are the things she remembers about her grandmother. Okay. Very nostalgic memory she has. Okay. So, Alan. Okay. Let's, uh, uh, let's see if you understood what uh, Ms. Gladys was explaining just now. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Okay. Um, so let's get ready for the questions. Okay, question number one. What is grandmother wearing in the photograph? Who is going to go for this? What is grandmother wearing in the photograph? Me. Oh, okay, go. She's wearing white broderie and lace shirt and a pleated skirt and flat shoes. Excellent. Excellent. Um, question number two. What do you understand from the phrase white hand in black hand? Who's going for this? Yes, Joe. Me. The persona and the grandmother are holding hands and they are probably of different races. Excellent. Great answer. Yes. Okay, how about question number three? What is the color of grandmother's hair? Yes, JC. The color of the grandmother's hair is gray. Gray. It's Quite straightforward in the poem, right? Okay, good. And the next question, how would you describe grandmother's personality? Who's doing this? Okay, go. It showed that she was a brave woman who looked her own death in the eye. Excellent, excellent. That's her personality there. Okay, now we are going into the second stanza. And who is going to recite the second stanza? Joe, great, Joe. 
It was true, after all, that look. My tall grandmother became small. Her back round and hunched, her soup forgot to boil. She went to the awful place grandmother's go. <coughs> Somewhere unknown, unthinkable. Well done, Joe. Okay, so the second stanza, uh, Joe recited it in a very sad tone. Okay, yeah, it sounded very sad. Yeah. That's because she remembers the time from mm. the stra uh, straight back which the grandmother had. Okay, the straight back that the grandmother had, she became small. So probably she became thinner as she got older. She became hunched and oh, no. bent. Yeah. Okay, so she became small. And then, as um, as all old people uh, tend to have this when they get older, their memory becomes not so good. Okay, so here it says her soup forgot to boil. Okay, uh, probably she put the you know, a pot of soup on the stove and then she forgot to switch it on. Um, I guess, Alil, we can identify with that at this age. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, don't, don't worry about it because sometimes I forget to do that. My mom uh, will ask okay. me to cook rice, I'll wash it, I'll put it in the pot and I forget to turn it on. So it happens okay. at all ages. Okay, yeah. that's comforting. <laughs> comforting. Comforting indeed. Okay, and then uh, this is to show that the grandmother became old. Okay, or much older. Yeah. And then she went to this awful place that grandmothers go, okay, somewhere unknown, unthinkable, okay, basically um, it means that she passed away. Oh no. Okay, she died. Yeah. And of course here, unknown, unthinkable, none of us here actually knows what happens, you know, after we die. So, and for her, it is definitely very sad after the reminiscing earlier. Okay, so this is what second stanza is all about. Okay, Ali, let's see. How much they understand the second stanza? Okay, let's okay. go to the questions. Pop quiz. And um, students at home, please try to answer these questions as well, okay? Join in. Okay, question number five. Why did grandmother become smaller in size? Who's taking this? Yes, Dina. Oh, don't forget to uh, turn on your mic. Okay. Her back become round and hunched. Yep. Excellent. Okay, the next question. What does the line, her soup forgot to boil, mean? Me. All right, Charm. Okay, it means she became forgetful. True. Yes. Correct. Yep. Okay. Correct. Uh, question number seven. What is meant by the line, she went to the awful place grandmothers go? Oh. Yes, Joe. It means that she's passed away. Oh, that's the sad part of this poem. Yep, correct. Okay, we are going, uh, we are just going to the next stanza. Stanza three. Who's going to recite this? Who would like to recite this? Okay, Dina, great. But then she is still in the photo with me at three. The crinkled smile is still living, breathing. Yes, Dina. I see that you actually recited it in a, in a sort of a happy, positive tone, right? That's because um, we can't uh, deny the fact that everyone has to die one day. But what is important is that she actually made memories with her grandmother when her grandmother was alive. Yes. So she is still in the photo at, with me at three. That memory remains with her. The crinkled smile is still living, breathing. Okay, so she remembers her grandmother uh, due to that smile and when she looks at the photograph, she feels that her grandmother is still living. Yeah. That's the wonderful thing about making memories. That's true, that's true. Um, actually, we still have some time. Um, obviously, the students have already mentioned their fond memories of, uh, of, the teacher, uh, of their grandparents, but we're going to go into that later on. Maybe we can continue with the questions first. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the next question. What do you think there refers to? JC? I think there refers to the photograph. Excellent. Yes, that's correct. And the last question for today. How old was the persona when the photograph was taken? Yes, Isan. 
the persona was three years old. Yes, this was uh, also quite straightforward in the poem. So, students at home, did you get the answers right? I hope you did. Okay. <laughs> That's all for this activity. Yes. Um, shall we move on to the next activity? Okay. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, we should. Okay. We still have time. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. This is called uh, a jigsaw activity. Yes. Okay. Uh, um, earlier, I explained um, uh, the poem okay, according to the stanzas. I explained the poem according to the stanzas. Yeah. And um, uh, we did see that stanza one is about reminiscing, thinking back. Okay, uh, according to the photo, and sec stanza two was actually about her death, mm -hmm. and stanza three was this, you know, that she lives on. Okay, now here you have the summary of the three stanzas, but uh, all the three, they, they are not in sequence. Okay, they are okay. not in sequence. Yep. Uh, would anyone like to try and sequence it, you know, according to the order? I have numbered here one, two, three. You sequence it according to the actual sequence it's supposed to be. Who would like to try that? Okay, Ifan. Right, okay, the answer should be two, three, and then one. Two, three, one. Okay, those of you who are watching, do you think he's correct? Okay, perhaps you should read it and see whether it's really two, three, one. Okay, let's check whether Ifan is correct or not. Yes, well done, Yay. Ifan. Okay, uh, it is two, three, one. That's the sequence of the uh, uh, three stanzas in the poem. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, yes. Do you have Do you have some more? We we, go, we are moving on to the game after this. Okay. So before that, we still have uh, some time. Maybe I can actually ask you. Um, but I'm going to ask you a question. Maybe you can answer that later, right after the commercial. All the students have already mentioned their fond memories of their grandmas. How about both of you? Oh. Well, but before that, how about we take a short break and we'll be back with you at Terras at Didet TV KPM. KPM DD TV KPM Welcome back. You are now watching Terras at Didit TV KPM together with me, Sean Steven, and also our two wonderful teachers today, uh, Miss Elil as well as Miss Gladys. All right, let's carry on with our lesson for today. Really excited. Yeah. Okay. For our next activity, it's a game. Would you like to play a game? Like who wouldn't? Yes or not? We can't imagine a lesson without a game. Okay. We are going to play Snap. Ooh, okay? Snap. Yeah, the, not the usual snap game where you match two pictures and then you snap and you put down the pictures, right? Yeah. Okay, now, this is coming with a trick. This game, Sean, this is yours. Oh, mine. Oh, yeah, I'm playing yeah, too. you're playing as well. Oh, okay. okay. These are your pictures. <laughs> okay, I have pictures here. Okay. okay. Can I show it? Uh, or no, not yet. No, it's your pictures. Oh, you have my to pictures. Just uh, list the rules. Okay, I'll go okay. with the rules now. Yes. First of all, this game, you are not going to match pictures. You are going to match um, the pictures in your hands with the statements that, that I'm going to read. Oh. Is that okay? okay? Okay, okay, okay. So, wait. I'm going to pick a number. I'm going to draw lots here. And the num from the number, I will read the statement. And when you hear the statement, look at your cards. See which picture matches the statement. Okay. And what you do... Show the card to the camera so we can see whether your answer is right. Then check the answer. The, the picture will appear on the board and then you snap. So you put it down on the table. Is that okay? Is the game clear? Sweeties, you heard me? 
Okay, so, great. You, it, it's clear to them, but not to me. <laughs> okay, so I have to ask me. one more time. So uh, you've been mentioning a statement. I have yeah. to find the most appropriate Pro picture in picture my hand. Picture that matches the Show statement. it to you. And if it's the same as what's on the uh, screen, then I throw it down and snap it. Excellent. Yes. There you okay. understood. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to win. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the first number. Okay. Number four. Number four. Okay, let's see what's the statement for number four. Um, what's the statement? Grandmother had a kind smile. Grandmother had a kind smile. Okay, now let me show you the photo. Snap. Oh. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> so, your answer is wrong. You hold the cards. Don't put anything down, Sean. Oh, hold okay. the cards. I'll hold the cards. Okay. okay. So, good. Let's go for the next one. Oh. Let's get rid of the pouch, Sean. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Be yeah. I'm very competitive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next one is number nine. Ooh. We're going for number nine. What's okay. the statement number nine? Number nine. Okay. Her grandmother became small. Look at your pictures. Be quick. Sweet. You got the pictures? Okay. Uh, can you all show your pictures? As show soon it as up. Uh, her the grandmother became small. Try can to I show it in front of the camera? Yes. A bit higher, a bit, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Now let's check. Actually, there Snap. you go. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he got it first. Put it down here. Snap. Okay. <laughs> no extra points for getting oh, it first. Okay, Sorry. no extra points. Okay, okay. As long as we get it right. Okay. 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 The next one is let me choose number two. Ooh. Number two. This was the place grandmother went to. Okay, two of you have the photos. Okay, let's see the picture. Excellent. Snap it down. S snap. Okay. Now, shall we... Glad, why don't you pick a number? Okay. Number? Number six. Number six. Let's see. It's my second lucky number. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope so. Okay. Grandmother became forgetful. Oh, man, I don't have any cards. <laughs> Show your pictures to I can't see the pictures, you know. Darling, put it up. Okay. Yeah. If you have the pictures, Excellent. then describe it. Yes. Okay. Let me see. It looks like yep, a correct. pot of soup. Snap. Snap? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, um, I go for number... Only there are two more to go, I think. Okay, let's see. Number one. Ooh. Number one. Number one. The persona was three in that photo. Snap. Ah, I haven't shown you the photo Sean. yet. Is this mine? Okay. Is it? Is it? Okay, yep. let's, let's, let's see. Suspense. Let's. Because we are but getting very close to the end of the game. Oh. So you may have a winner. Ta-da! A snap! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. How about uh, the others? I couldn't see the pictures, you know, darling? Okay. Okay. We are going for one more. Okay, one more. Actually, you have a lot of numbers there. Okay. Yeah, okay. But let's see whether we have a winner already or not because some of you have put two cards down already, right? Mm. Okay, this is number five. And the statement is, Grandmother was looking tall and healthy. Okay, let's see whether we are going to have a winner or not. Tall and healthy. Okay. Jachan. All yeah, right. Yeah, I win. Yeah. Okay, so we have a winner already. Uh, who's the winner? Jachan. Ah, oh, man. He finished all his cards. I mean, good for you. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Yes, yes, yes. Good sportsmanship. I have to clap, even though I lost. <laughs> Great game, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's all for Snap. Hope you enjoyed um, the game. Did you enjoy the game? Yes, I did. 
I definitely it, did at least. <laughs> uh, perhaps you all would like to um, uh, look at some of the photos here, just in case. Uh, yes, you know, please. Okay, you have, uh, what is number three? Okay, that's so number three. Some of you have other photos. Yep. Okay, okay, you may look at the photos. Uh, you will look at the photos, but uh, yeah, we... Um, yeah, I think I can show. I can show one of mine. Yes. I'm not sure whether the camera can see that. Um, you can actually see that. Uh, I can just describe it. It has like a white top and a skirt. A, yeah. a skirt. black yeah. skirt. That's what yeah. the grandma wears, right? Ah, yes. yes. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. So we'll go on to the next uh, activity. Yes, okay. please. Uh, shall we? Okay. Yes. Let's go. Choice board. Okay. Choice board is our next activity. Choice and board. Cho okay. So you are not very sure about choice board, are you, Sean? Uh, I know okay. that it probably means um, a board of choices. <laughs> you are right. Oh yeah, am I? Okay. <laughs> so, yes, you are right. Okay. Okay, uh, okay. It is a board of choices. Yes. Uh, meaning that for the next activity, students are given a choice on um, what they want to do. Okay. okay? They okay. get to choose. Yeah. It's not just one activity. So that's the reason why it's called a choice board. All right. Okay. So, Ellen? Okay, let's look at the things that kids have Ooh, done. Okay? Wow. The question for this choice board uh, given to the uh, students was uh, this. How would you keep your memories of your loved ones alive? So, that was the question given. So let's see what they did to keep the memories of their loved ones alive. Okay, we have got a few things here. Oh, wow. Yeah. It looks really Excellent, yes yeah. or not. Okay, this is by Shamiksha. She did a scrapbook. Look at that. Lovely. Yeah, yes. she even wrote a poem. She's got a poem in it. Glad would you like to mm. take a look? Look at, look at this, Sean. She's yes. got colourful pictures. And papers and okay. designs. Shall I hold okay. it for the camera? Yeah, sure. Yes. Okay. So let's just have a look. Oops. Okay. Okay. You can see wonderful, wonderful uh, pictures and descriptions. There's even some animation or even some stickers on it. I find that really, really nice. Maybe I can move on to the page before that. Here we go. My grandparents. Wonderful. Okay. Would you like yeah? to hear what? Uh, Shamiksha has to say about this. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, okay. Sham, can you please tell yes, us Ms. why Ellen? a scrapbook? Okay. Um, I like to work with colored pictures, pens and papers because I like to attach colors to memories. Um, like, for example, um, here I've used yellow for happy memories. And... Darker colors for sad memories. Uh, this is how I keep the memories alive. Excellent. Okay, that's a nice explanation about your scrapbook. Thank you. Great job, Sham. Great job. Okay. Um, we have more things, actually. Okay. And this is by Ezhan. Look at this. Look at this. This is how wonderful this is. He has framed it. He has got pictures and he's got a little poem as well. Would you like to say this? Yes, it's lovely. Yes. What a lovely uh, capturing of memories through this, okay? Yes. With a poem as well as photos. Yep. Okay, Maybe you can so just hold it wonderful. still for a while yes. so the audience at home get to yes, look at it okay. as well. You all can yeah. see how wonderfully he has done it. It's beautiful. Okay? Okay. Ezan, would you like to tell us why you chose this way? Okay? Okay. There's reasons why I choose photo frame over other methods to keep the memories. One of the reasons is because it's easy to see and can be placed everywhere. In my room, living hall, or on my study table. It, could, it can be a bit of an effort, but it's worth it. And I can express my feelings by giving it a little bit of designs. I can put the frame anywhere and a lot of pictures will be arranged on the walls and tables. This will be an artistic way of keeping the memories alive. He's got a point. Yes, yes. Isn't he? I yeah. mean, the pictures will be out and you can look at it whenever, wherever. 
and you you will enjoy seeing it without that's really true. worrying, without having to open the albums. You're okay? right, right. Yeah, that's, a, like, that's a very interesting way of how we can not only capture but immortalize yes. memories. So before we move on further, how about we take a short break and we'll be back here at Teras at Didate TV KPM. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> KPM DD TV KPM Are now watching to us at Didate TV KPM for subject English uh, for the title The Living Photograph. Over to you. Uh, yes. Okay. To um, thank you, Sean. We are continuing with our ways to keep memories alive, and this is Sean's um, box of mementos from his grandparents. Okay, let's see what he has. He's got a teddy bear, mm -hmm. okay? It's, um, this is a clear message from the grandparents, I suppose. You have to be a graduate, not grow as big as a teddy bear, but, <laughs> you know, but the graduate but part. But a cute one, though. Yeah. And look at this. This one looks really old. These are the mem mementos he has collected. Hey, what have we got here? <laughs> Drawstring bag. Drawstring bag. Oh, Truly grandmother's bag. Yes, right? yes, yes. And there's yes, something yes. in here. Um, what do you know? <gasps> Tiger bomb. <laughs> yes. Every <laughs> excellent way it of remembering. It is a must. It okay? is a must for all grandparents to have yes. Tiger bomb. Excellent. Okay. And uh, I let me guess. This is for you too. Uh, let let me guess. This is your grandmother has read these books to you, right, girl? Okay. Now tell us why did you choose this way? Uh, well, these are my antiques passed down to me from my grandfather. Having them with me give, always gives me a deep sense of nostalgia. Objects like these give me many good memories with them, and I cherish it. And I keep my and I like keeping my memories this way. Oh, Wonderful. excellent! Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. I like the way he puts it. Okay, we have got uh, more. There's two more videos that we are going to watch from our students, they have done something to keep their memories alive. Okay. Let's have a look. This photo of my grandmother was taken on her birthday. If not mistaken, it was taken around six years ago. The photo lets me remember my grandmother's beautiful smile. The second picture was taken when we went to Gunting Highlands and it makes me think about the memories we had there. The third photo was taken during one of our relatives' wedding dinner. I remember all the delicious food we had those are really, really wonderful videos of your grandmother. Yeah. It really reminds me of my grandmother. Aren't they? Yeah, kind of missing her right now. But <laughs> yes, please do continue. Okay, now we'll ask. Uh, the first one was from uh, Joe. Mm -hmm. Joe, why that uh, that was your choice of uh, keeping memories alive? So the reason I chose this way to preserve my grandmother's memory is because I enjoy working with IT since there isn't much setup or cleanup to do. I can also save as many photos as I like and have it well organized with the help of cloud storage. At the same time, have an easy access to them anytime, anywhere. Therefore, I think a digital photo album is a great way to keep memories alive. There you go. Technology. Right. Right? Makes it 
Makes uh, everything easier. <laughs> true. And the next one, it's uh, JC's one, the last one, the last video. The reason I made the video album is because it's more convenient for me to use technology since it's easy to make a video album and I can save it in my pen drive so I, I won't lose it. I've given it a voiceover and subtitle so whoever watches the video will be able to connect with my memories of my loved ones. The video really? album is keeping the memories alive. Oh, that's brilliant. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Okay, so before we end our lesson for today, how about we uh, have a conclusion or a summary of what we have covered today? Yes. Okay. Um, after looking at the poem, The Living Photograph today, I would say that none of you will again look at a photograph uh, the same way before. Because now you know that the photographs hold a lot of memories, right? Okay, but before we make those memories, there's something that we have to do. If anything, the pandemic has taught us that memories are very important and anything can happen. So in order to make memories, you have to spend the time with your loved ones. So put the phone down, off the, switch off the TV and go out there and make memories with your loved ones. Yes, very wise words indeed. And, uh, <laughs> thank you so much to uh, Miss Gladys as well as Miss Elil uh, for spending your morning here today and sharing uh, this lesson with all of us. And also thank you to all uh, our students who are online uh, for being part of this uh, amazing lesson as well. And for those of you watching at home, don't forget uh, to always turn off your mobile phone, turn off your TV and spend time and make memories with your loved ones. And we'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye. Should students study literature. First of all, studying literature will help build their word power and communicative skills. Students will be able to write better articles, reports, or stories or poems, or other aesthetically attractive write-ups. Be able to write details, reports, and especially important skill that everyone should possess, but it becomes really helpful in one's professional life. By studying literature, students become aware of many different cultures, settings, and characters that may be similar to them or different from them. But they learn to appreciate all. Students learn to empathize and analyze them from many different perspectives. This enables them to become critical thinker. So when we have enough students to make up a class, I'm sure my school will be able to have a slot in the timetable to teach and learn English literature. Thank you. DD TV KP